You are now tuned in to Sexy Recipes with your man, Scotty B. This week's Sexy Recipe is Scotty's Homemade Chicken and Rice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I know when you hear this dish, it doesn't sound very appealing. It doesn't sound like it'll get any attention. But guess what? You're wrong. When you put together the combination of savory, hot, warm, melted, soft, drippy, good things can happen. Trust me. So with this recipe, we're going to start out with all of the finest ingredients because you're making it homemade. You're making it from scratch. So with that, you want to make sure that you're giving her the very best possible. So you're going to get the best cut of chicken breast you can find. And, you know, of course, if you're dealing with the breast, you need to have the most supple cut. We're going to go ahead and spice it up, get funky. Show her that you got layers. We're going to use wild rice. We're going to use some cream of chicken. We're going to use some seasoned salt and pepper, adobo seasoning, garlic, a little onion. We're going to make sure that when she tastes this dish, she gets the motivation she needs to give you everything that you deserve. Yeah. So first off, Grab those breasts, massage them, play with the front, the backs, the sides of those breasts, all of it. Don't don't leave any crevice out. <laughs> Once those breasts have been massaged and they are perky to the touch, place them in a pot of boiling water. Let them boil. Let them boil and get tender as tender can be. After you boil your chicken, and you cut it up, you're going to return it back to that same water it was cooking in because you want all the sauce, you want the marinade, you want the seasonings, you want all of that sticky goodness. <sighs> you're going to add your bag of wild rice and watch the party begin because she knows something good is coming. It's just depending on if you're serving what she wants to ingest. You're going to drain all of that excess juice off of your rice Get rid of all of it. We got extra sauce. We don't need this for this particular part of the recipe. Place your pot back on the stove on a medium high heat. That cream of chicken, yeah, throw it in there. And watch it melt on top of that rice and chicken as if it knows it's supposed to be there. Now, for my experts and for my women who require the extra meat, cut up a little smoked sausage. Add it in when you add in your cream of chicken. Let it simmer on a medium to low heat for about five minutes. The aroma in the house will be undeniable at this point. If she is not halfway undressed, take that pot, toss it out the window. You did not execute this recipe the correct way. But if you did, she's going to be waiting, salivating, smelling all of that goodness. Looking at that pot, looking at you, looking at that pot, looking at you, and trying to figure out which one she's going to eat first. Now that's what I'm talking about. If you wanted to go the extra mile, do something strange for a piece of change, add in some homemade garlic bread to the side of that bowl of steaming chicken and rice. And after that point, she should be waiting on you in the bedroom, nothing on, in just a bowl of homemade chicken and rice with extra meat if you're nasty you have now been tuned into another sexy recipe with your man scotty b